today I show you how to use the undo function on your Android phone. The undo function is most of the time useful in text editing apps, but many apps could have an undo function. Many apps can have the undo function and also redo. And I'll show you in Google Keep, in the Notes app. Here I have the Google keyboard and you will most likely have the similar options if you use another keyboard like Samsung keyboard. But for example, here I'm going to type something and hopefully you will see whatever I'm saying, you will see this on the screen. And I'm trying to test the undo function on the Android phone. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and oh, that's, it got that right. That usually is not so great with this. But if you notice when I type, when I use the voice typing, it's not using punctuation, not making sentences. It's all just a huge one large sentence. Okay, so I pointed out one more thing here. I pointed out one more thing here. I got used to the iPhone double tap on space to put a colon at the end of the sentence. I got used to the iPhone to do a double space to end the sentence. So yeah, put a dot at the sentence there and I could type something. The rest today. And I type this part there. And if I want to undo the last, last, last few words I typed, you can see there is the option here for undo. And you might have an option like this when you select when you might have an option like this in some apps where you are on the cursor, you can get this context menu and then you have an option for undo. But here in Google Keep, I can tap on this undo arrow and then I also have the redo arrow available there. So I can undo all the way to the beginning to the last first first sentence, first, first thing I said. And if I want to redo, I can also do the redo all the way to the last word. This is how it works in Android and iPhone is similar, but the undo and redo options are very useful. The undo especially, it's going to be more useful than redo because many times you might do make some change. For example, I delete half of this text by mistake. I press undo and it's all back. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get to use the undo function. I hope you don't need it, but when you need it, it's good to have it quickly. You can recover some text or some document fast. It also works. It also works with deleting files on computers and Windows. Control Z. Thanks for watching.